Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So just before Christmas, the DJI Osmo Action 6 got a pretty significant firmware update. It now added 8K recording. And another feature it added is auto uploading to a cloud service of your choice. You can auto upload the footage when plugged into power directly to Google Drive, OneDrive, or even if you have a NAS set up in your house, you can upload the footage directly to it as well. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you quickly how to set that up. It's actually a pretty easy procedure. So to start, we're gonna power on our Osmo Action 6, and then we're gonna launch our DJI Mimo app, and we're gonna let the Mimo app connect to the camera. Once it's connected, we wanna go over to our profile by tapping in the bottom right-hand side. And when connected to the camera, we're gonna get this option here that says Camera Cloud Service. Now that's only there when connected to the camera. So if you don't see it, that means you're not connected. So you just wanna go ahead and connect. Once you do see it, we just tap on it. And there it allows us to select what cloud service we wanna use. We can select Google Drive, OneDrive, or a NAS if you have one set up. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna select Google Drive. And you do have to authorize it first with your cloud service. So Google right now is asking me to authorize it. Once we select Google Drive, it did have to verify. We had to give it authorization to access our information. Once you've done that, you're gonna to come to this page. And here we can set up a few extra things. Most notably is we wanna add the Wi-Fi network. That way the camera knows what to connect to. And uh, for me, I'll select Bell. I'll put in my password, hit confirm, and there we go. So that's basically it, we are now set up. Once we plug this into power, it will automatically start to auto upload and I'll just show you how that works. Now, one thing I do wanna show you here, if you do wanna change your cloud service later on, all you have to do is go through the same steps, log back into your Google Drive, if that's what you had it set up to, and you would just tap on exit. It's gonna reconnect back to the camera and that's gonna delete all that information. Now, if we go back to our camera cloud service, you can see it takes us right back where we can choose our cloud provider. And I'll just show you quickly here, if you do wanna to connect to a NAS, it's pretty simple. You do have to have all your information about logging in before you can do that. It works pretty well the same way. So I'm gonna select NAS here. And as you can see here, once we've tapped on it, this is where we enter all the information, the SMB address, the username and password, and the shared folder location. And again, you'll have to set up your Wi-Fi network. So it just depends on what type of service you wanna use. Not everybody has a NAS set up in their house. Now I'll just show you quickly here how it works once we have it all set up and we plug the camera to power. I'll demonstrate what happens. All right, so we have everything set up now and I'm gonna show you how it works, how to utilize that feature. Right now I've got my Osmo Action 6 and it's powered off. We'll take a power cable and we'll plug it in to charge it. And as you can see there, it automatically went in and started to do the upload. And it did give us an option there where we could cancel it if we didn't want to do any uploading. It does show us some information on the screen, the speed at which we're transferring, shows us the files that we're uploading, and the estimated time remaining. And at the very top here, you can see we are connected to my internet provider. And of course, if you want to stop the upload, we can just hit cancel. And then we'll go ahead and power off. If the camera's powered on and we go into our settings, we do have a few options there as well. If we go to upload management, you can see we can enable and disable that feature. So if we don't want to do auto uploading, we can turn that off. Or if we just want to automatically start uploading, while the camera's powered on, I can tap up there and you can see it's going to automatically go in and start uploading the files. So yeah, folks, just a quick look at how to utilize the new cloud service of your DJI Osmo Action 6. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.